Welcome back, everybody. Today we got a letter from Mary who lives in Baltimore saying, Hi, Al. How do I multiply by five? Great question, Mary. Let's do this. Multiply by five. Multiply by five. Multiply by five. Okay, so are you ready? First, there's two secrets to multiplying by five. First, it's just counting by fives. Pretty easy, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get it, see? You've been skip counting all along. Second secret, and this is a big one. If you multiply by five, your answer will always end in five or zero. Watch this, check this out. One times five is five. Two times five is 10. Three times five is 15. Four times five is 20. See, five, zero, five, zero. It's a guaranteed pattern. Let's put groups of five together. We'll use our hands, high five. Each hand is a group of five fingers. Three hands, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15. Four hands, keep counting. Five, 10, 15, 20. Five hands, that's five times five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. See, nice and easy. You're getting the hang of it. Uh oh, snack time. Bananas! <coughs> yum, 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 yum. Did you know that a botanist, those super smart flower scientists, actually classify bananas as berries? Neat, huh? Okay, now back to math. Time for some real world group to fives. Here are some flowers. We have seven flowers, and each one has five petals. How many petals in total? Seven times five. 35, that's right. Okay, I have nine shiny nickels. Each nickel is five cents. How much money is that? Nine times five. That's right, 45, good job. You crushed it. Remember, two secrets to multiplying by five. It's just counting by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, that easy. Second, the answer is always gonna end in five or zero. Great, you're a math superstar now. Write me a letter. Let me know what you want me to help you with. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>